Ancient Rome, founded in 753 BC, grew from a small settlement to a powerful empire spanning three continents. The city of Rome was built on seven hills along the Tiber River, which provided strategic advantages for defense and trade. At its peak, the Roman Empire covered over two million square miles and had a population of around 50 to 60 million people, making it one of the largest empires in history. The Romans were known for their engineering marvels, such as the aqueducts that supplied water to the city, the Colosseum where gladiatorial games were held, and the roads that connected the vast empire. The Roman Republic, established in 509 BC, was a period of political innovation with a system of checks and balances, including the Senate and popular assemblies. Women in ancient Rome played diverse roles in society, from managing households to participating in religious ceremonies. While Roman women had limited legal rights compared to men, they could own property, run businesses, and even influence politics behind the scenes. The concept of paterfamilias, where the eldest male had authority over the family, was a central aspect of Roman society. As Rome transitioned from a republic to an empire, the status of women evolved. The imperial period saw some women gaining more prominence, such as empresses like Livia and Agrippina, who wielded significant power. The influence of Greek and Egyptian cultures also impacted Roman attitudes towards women, leading to shifts in societal norms and expectations. Early Roman society was deeply rooted in tradition and hierarchy, with distinct roles for men and women. In the early days of Rome, women held important positions within the family structure, known as the domus. The domus was the center of Roman social life, where women managed the household and oversaw the upbringing of children. Roman women were expected to embody virtues such as piety, modesty, and loyalty to their families. Interestingly, Roman women had more freedom and independence compared to their Greek counterparts, with some women even owning property and engaging in business ventures. While men held most of the political power in early Roman society, women could exert influence through their connections and social networks. The institution of marriage was crucial in Roman society, as it served not only as a means of procreation, but also as a way to solidify alliances between families. Divorce was relatively common in ancient Rome, and women had the right to initiate divorce proceedings under certain circumstances. The legal status of women in early Rome was complex, with laws governing marriage, inheritance, and property ownership. For example, the dowry system was prevalent, where a bride's family provided a sum of money or property to the groom upon marriage. This practice ensured financial security for the wife and her children in case of divorce or widowhood. In terms of numbers, historical records indicate that the average age of marriage for Roman women was around 14 to 16 years old, while men typically married in their late 20s. This age gap reflected the societal expectation that women should marry young and bear children to ensure the continuation of the family line. Despite the patriarchal nature of Roman society, some women managed to break free from traditional roles and achieve prominence. One such example is Cloelia, a Roman maiden who bravely escaped captivity during a war with the Etruscans and was honored for her courage. Another notable figure is Lucretia, whose tragic story of rape and suicide sparked a revolution that led to the overthrow of the Roman monarchy. These women exemplified the resilience and strength of Roman women in the face of adversity. As Rome expanded its influence and power, women's roles in society began to shift paving the way for new opportunities and challenges in the centuries to come. In the Roman Republic, women's legal rights were influenced by societal norms and customs that dictated their roles within the family and society. While Roman women had limited political rights compared to men, they did have certain legal protections and privileges. For example, women could own property, inherit wealth, and engage in business transactions. The concept of dowry played a significant role in Roman marriages, where a bride's family provided a financial contribution to the groom upon marriage. This dowry served as a form of financial security for the wife and ensured her well-being in case of divorce or widowhood. Interestingly, Roman women could also serve as legal guardians for their children and make decisions regarding their upbringing and education. In terms of numbers, 
Historical records indicate that women in the Roman Republic could inherit property from their fathers, husbands, or other male relatives. This inheritance allowed some women to amass significant wealth and influence within Roman society. Additionally, women had the right to enter into contracts and legal agreements, albeit with certain restrictions. While women could not hold political office or participate in the Roman Senate, they could exert influence through their connections and social networks. The legal status of women in the Roman Republic was a reflection of the complex and evolving nature of Roman society, where traditional values coexisted with changing attitudes towards gender roles. As Rome transitioned from a republic to an empire, women's legal rights continued to evolve, shaping the course of Roman history. Women in Roman imperial society played diverse roles and wielded varying degrees of influence within the complex fabric of Roman society. One interesting aspect of women in the imperial period was their involvement in religious practices and cults. Women played key roles in the worship of various deities, such as the cult of Isis, which originated in Egypt but gained popularity in Rome. The cult of Isis offered women a sense of community and spiritual fulfillment, allowing them to participate in rituals and ceremonies that were not always accessible in traditional Roman religious practices. Another fascinating detail is the emergence of powerful women in the imperial court who exerted significant influence over political affairs. Empresses such as Livia, the wife of Emperor Augustus, and Agrippina the Younger, the mother of Emperor Nero, played pivotal roles in shaping the policies and decisions of their husbands and sons. These women navigated the intricate web of imperial politics with skill and cunning, often using their positions to advance their own agendas and secure power for themselves and their families. In terms of numbers, historical records indicate that women in the imperial period had greater access to education and cultural pursuits compared to earlier periods in Roman history. Wealthy women in particular had the opportunity to engage in intellectual pursuits, patronize the arts, and participate in philosophical discussions. For example, the philosopher and mathematician Hypatia of Alexandria, though not Roman herself, exemplified the intellectual capabilities and influence that some women could attain in the ancient world. Additionally, women in the imperial period had more visibility in public life, with some women holding positions of authority in local government and civic organizations. While the majority of Roman women were still confined to traditional roles within the household, the imperial period saw a gradual expansion of opportunities for women to engage in public life and contribute to the cultural and intellectual vibrancy of Roman society. The imperial period also witnessed the spread of Roman culture and influence throughout the vast territories of the empire, leading to greater diversity and interaction among different ethnic groups. This cultural exchange had a profound impact on the status and roles of women in Roman society as women from diverse backgrounds brought new perspectives and traditions to the Roman world. Overall, women in Roman imperial society occupied a complex and multifaceted position, balancing traditional expectations with emerging opportunities for social, political, and cultural engagement. During the Roman Empire, significant changes occurred in the status and roles of women, reflecting the evolving dynamics of Roman society. One interesting aspect of women's status during this period was the emergence of prominent female figures in various fields, including literature, philosophy, and politics. For example, the poet Sulpicia gained recognition for her elegiac poetry, challenging traditional gender norms with her literary prowess. Additionally, the philosopher and mathematician Hypatia of Alexandria, though not Roman herself, made significant contributions to intellectual discourse and education in the Roman world. These women defied societal expectations and paved the way for future generations of female scholars and thinkers. In terms of numbers, historical records indicate that the Roman Empire saw an increase in the number of women who held positions of authority and influence. Wealthy women in particular had greater access to education and cultural pursuits leading to a rise in female patronage of the arts and intellectual endeavors. The imperial court also witnessed the presence of powerful women such as Agrippina the Younger, who played a pivotal role in shaping imperial policies and succession. 
Another interesting development was the spread of Roman culture and values throughout the empire, influencing the status and roles of women in diverse regions. Women in the provinces had varying degrees of autonomy and opportunities based on local customs and traditions, leading to a rich tapestry of female experiences within the Roman Empire. The legal rights of women also underwent changes during the imperial period, with some emperors enacting laws that expanded women's rights in areas such as property ownership and inheritance. For example, the Lex Julia de Adulterius Coercendis, passed by Augustus, aimed to regulate marital fidelity and protect women's rights within the institution of marriage. These legal reforms reflected a growing recognition of women's contributions to Roman society and the need to safeguard their interests. Overall, the Roman Empire marked a period of transformation and complexity in women's status, highlighting the diverse roles and experiences of women across different social strata and regions. The influence of Christianity on women's rights in the Roman Empire was profound and multifaceted. With the rise of Christianity as the dominant religion in the empire, new perspectives on gender roles and women's status emerged. One interesting aspect of this influence was the emphasis on the spiritual equality of men and women in the eyes of God. Unlike traditional Roman beliefs that often relegated women to subordinate roles, Christianity offered a more egalitarian view of women's worth and dignity. Women played crucial roles in the early Christian community, serving as leaders, teachers, and martyrs. For example, women like Priscilla and Phoebe are mentioned in the New Testament as influential figures in spreading the teachings of Christianity. Interestingly, the teachings of Jesus and the early Christian leaders emphasized compassion, humility, and service, qualities that were not always valued in Roman society. These values had a transformative effect on women's rights, inspiring acts of charity, social justice, and empowerment among Christian women. In terms of numbers, historical records indicate that women made up a significant portion of the early Christian community, with some estimates suggesting that women comprised up to two-thirds of the early converts to Christianity. This demographic shift had far-reaching implications for women's roles in society, as Christian women found new avenues for spiritual fulfillment and social engagement. The emphasis on love, forgiveness, and equality in Christian teachings challenged existing social norms and paved the way for greater recognition of women's rights and contributions. Overall, the influence of Christianity on women's rights in the Roman Empire marked a significant turning point in the history of gender relations shaping the values and beliefs that continue to resonate in modern society. Women in Roman society played crucial roles in both the economy and family life, contributing to the prosperity and stability of their households and communities. One interesting aspect of women's role in the Roman economy was their involvement in various economic activities, including agriculture, trade, and manufacturing. While men dominated certain sectors of the economy, such as politics and large-scale commerce, women played essential roles in managing household finances, overseeing domestic production, and participating in local markets. Wealthy Roman women often owned and managed estates, overseeing agricultural operations and supervising enslaved laborers. Some women also engaged in trade, selling goods produced by their households or acting as intermediaries in commercial transactions. In terms of numbers, Historical records indicate that women's economic contributions were significant, with some estimates suggesting that women controlled up to one-third of the wealth in Roman society. This economic power gave women a degree of financial independence and influence, allowing them to make decisions regarding investments, property management, and charitable donations. The economic activities of Roman women were closely intertwined with their roles in family life, where they were responsible for managing household affairs, raising children, and maintaining social connections. The concept of paterfamilias, or the male head of the household, was central to Roman family life, but women played crucial roles in supporting and upholding the family structure. Women were expected to embody virtues such as piety, modesty, and loyalty, ensuring the well-being and reputation of their families. Interestingly, Roman women had legal rights within the family, including the ability to inherit property, serve as legal guardians for their children, 
and initiate divorce proceedings under certain circumstances. These legal protections gave women a degree of autonomy and agency within the family unit, allowing them to make decisions that affected their own and their children's futures. The interconnected nature of women's roles in the economy and family life underscored the importance of women's contributions to the social and economic fabric of Roman society, shaping the dynamics of households and communities across the empire. One notable woman in ancient Rome was Agrippina the Younger, known for her political acumen and influence during the reign of Emperor Claudius. Agrippina was the sister of Emperor Caligula and the mother of Emperor Nero, making her a key figure in the Julio-Claudian dynasty. She played a significant role in shaping imperial policies and succession, often using her position to advance her own interests and secure power for herself and her family. Another remarkable woman was Cornelia Africana, the mother of the Gracchi brothers, Tiberius and Gaius. Cornelia was renowned for her intelligence, education, and political acumen, earning her the title of Mother of the Gracchi. She was a prominent figure in Roman society, known for her advocacy of education and culture. In terms of numbers, historical records indicate that women like Agrippina and Cornelia wielded considerable influence and power, challenging traditional gender roles and expectations. These notable women defied societal norms and left a lasting impact on Roman history, shaping the course of politics, culture, and society in their time. Women in ancient Rome, such as Livia and Agrippina, wielded significant power and influence in the imperial court. Historical records indicate that women comprised up to two-thirds of the early Christian community, reflecting a demographic shift in religious beliefs. Wealthy Roman women controlled up to one-third of the wealth in Roman society, highlighting their economic contributions and financial independence. Notable women like Agrippina the Younger and Cornelia Africana challenged traditional gender roles and left a lasting impact on Roman history. These women defied societal norms and paved the way for future generations of female leaders and thinkers, shaping the course of politics, culture, and society in ancient Rome.